Hey there everybody, Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode, I guess technically this should be 95, yeah let's do that. I was, gonna, I was thinking I'm like, ah, this could be like 94.2, but uh, you know what, let's just let's just make it easier to understand and call it 95. So, uh, this episode should be going up, up uh, right after, or kind of right near the same time as the last episode. So last episode we went over um, kind of the, the, the Living World Season 1 little tidbit that, um, that, uh, uh, Guild Wars 2 has so it's a really short little history lesson uh, which is kind of fun kind of get to learn a little bit about the the characters that I'm guessing I'm gonna run into uh, during uh, Living World Season 2 but uh, you can learn a little bit about them kind of learn a little bit about the Scarlet's War got some uh, items uh, one of them blew me up and one of them is this twisted uh, watchwork portal device that I am terrified to use because uh, it literally says oh, use at your own risk. So I'm like, if the gift it gave me blew me up, uh, that's probably not going to be uh, anything I want to use right now. So I might wait on that. Um, but with that done, we need to head into the Living World Season 2. This is be my first episode of Living World Season 2. So now now the game has started. As you guys have let me know that the Guild Wars 2 is now officially started for me. I'm really excited for that. So um, I've received another note from the Cryptic E asking me to investigate mysterious incursions at the edge of Brisbane Wildlands while suggesting that these incursions, incursions may be an early sign that a new threat to Tyria was in fact roused during Scarlet uh, Bear's our bearers uh, attack on Lion's Arch. So meet me or meet your allies in your the new Seraph outpost in Brisbane Wildlands. So I gotta meet them at the Tangled Route, which is right here. It's kind of cool because I mean, what's with this route? So I see it's got some roots, some moving roots, which is in itself disturbing. Uh, around, I'm guessing this is Heart of Thorns season two kind of stuff. But then there's like this purple one over here. So I'm wondering what's going on, what's going on over there. Even this one's like glowing purple. I wonder what that's from. But either way, guys, let's figure out what's going on in Living World Season 2. So let's enter this instance. The disturbance in Brisbane Wildlands. Oh, I like this. All right. So uh, gather with your allies near Corporal uh, Jensen and optional catch up with your allies. Okay. Tonight, I'll take your watch so you can get some extra sleep. Listen here, Mother Hen. You can stop fussing. I'm fine. My ribs barely hurt anymore. <laughs> you ready? Let's join the others, shall we? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I've never met these two before, but they were part of season one. So Casimir uh, is kind of like a, a mesmer. What are and, doing oh. all the way out here? How about we ask? Oh, look, there's the others. We'll wait here for them, then go in. How's your leg, Graham? Barely a peep from it. I got through those vines just fine. You worry about him too much. He's tough. I never said he wasn't. You thought it. What? Nothing. I want to <laughs> talk to that Seraph and find out what's going on around here. All right, so let's talk with this everyone here. So let's talk with uh, Kazmir. So, hey, Vanessa. Uh, we've been waiting for you. There's a group of Seraph in this old fort, and it looks like they're having some trouble. The others are on their way, too. Let's go see what's happening. And Marjorie... Um, do you sense it? There's a hush in the air, as if all but the bravest of birds have fled the area. I don't like it. Let's see what we could we can learn. All right, so it still has the. I was wondering if maybe they, because it's in an instance, that they wouldn't have the vines. But they still have the vines, even the blue or the purple glowing ones. Hey, come on over here. All right, let's talk with Bram here. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go talk to or talk to that Seraph. Uh, Jory and Kaz will catch up, uh, for sure. Oh, Marjorie and Kaz. Okay. Yeah, they're right over there. They're literally right there. Oh, there they are, waving to me and everything. Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, let's talk with uh, Amy, or Tiny. Or <laughs> Tiny. Tammy. Uh, I want to get a sample of those living vines. I wonder if I could recreate hybrids. Easy there, Mastermind. These things are dangerous. And we got rocks here. There's, uh, there's some crazy stuff going on out here. Makes me really feel like... Oh, makes me really feel the distance between us and the Citadel. This is a big adventure. She's got a little, uh, little, uh, um, frostbite here with her, too. Let's head in, guys. Where are you guys? Where did everyone else go? Oh, they're already here already. So let's talk with, uh, Corporal here. Excuse me, Corporal. Looks like you've got a problem on your hands. You might say so. 
We need to get through those vines, but they're impassable. How about we give you a hand? That'd be great. We're a small expeditionary squad. What are you doing so far from the Reach? We're tracking black market traders that came this way. We suspect they may have a secret ingress past this mess. Well, let's see if we can help you clear a path. Your help would be greatly appreciated, ma'am. Delacroix, come over here. Yes, sir. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, sis. I thought maybe this was your squad. You're related? Yes, sir. What are you doing here, Margie? We heard a rumor there were strange goings-on in this area. We came to investigate. As if taking on Scarlet wasn't enough excitement to last a lifetime. Let's talk. We've got some information about what's happening around here. Here we go. Oh. Inquest. Let's uh, defend them from the inquest. Stay close, Jory. Kaz. That's my line. What are Inquest doing here? They're like rats. They show up everywhere there's death. You guys go left. Kaz and I will go right. We need to hold them back here. Our outpost can't withstand an all-out attack. All right, I'm gonna do my best to try to uh, get their voices here. Actually, I'll just keep this up. How about that? That way, if I do miss anything, it shows up here. All right, so let's take out these Inquest here. Kind of fun that my first time fighting with these guys, even though apparently I did it a whole bunch during season one. <laughs> Well, the commander did at least. All right. Take these inquest golems down. Delacroix, uh... you take the eastern path. I'm on it. The other Delacroix. Yes, sir. All right. We still heading this way? Oh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I gotta head down here. Come on, we can help the Seraph guard here. Uh, oh, it's a veteran, this Inquis assassin here. We can take you out. Alright. What? Oh my gosh, look at all the things against you. I love that. Alright, you're down. Nope, oh, we got an Inquest Grenadier showing up here. What the Inquest are doing here. Time to do some real damage. Maybe they want to know about the, the vines that are showing up here too. Probably. Inquest are always wanting to learn something. Right, they're just gonna keep coming. Uh, it's a, a veteran assassin here. God, the mesmer attacks look really cool. It's kind of fun to have uh, two necromancers here too. So it seems like yeah, each of them are kind of like different classes too. Oh, let's uh go defend the seraph workers building the barricades. I'm gonna hop over here. You guys got this, right? Awesome. Let's head on this side first. Let's get some barricades up. Okay, get that barricade up while we defend you. So many of you guys here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You guys realize I just killed an Elder Dragon, right? You guys are trying to attack me? And I did it solo, throwing it out there. And they still want to fight me. Oh, oh, part of the barricade's up. Good, good. Keep it coming, keep it coming. You guys can build that barricade really quick. I like that. Uh, Seraph has some really good engineers there. Oh, totally missed with that attack. So it goes. Come 
on, take on this engineer. I could outrun a centaur. Can you now? So healing if I need to. Got uh, an extinguisher over here. I'm not quite sure what they are, but I gotta can't let them into the barricade here. Um, they know there's a big hole in your barricades right here, right? Okay, just making sure you know that. Defend the Seraph working building barricades in the Eastern Pass now. I'll fight my way to the Eastern Pass. Come on, Kaz, we got this. Yeah, I'll distract them and uh, take them out here. Uh, try to maybe, maybe get them all down together. Maybe get some healing on you. Oh! I like how she didn't fall down. She just, like, got dazed? Is that a new mechanic? That's... that's never seen someone just dazed like that before. And then healed. Okay, cool. I mean, I tried putting my, uh, my healing thing there, so maybe... Maybe that helped. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, oh, I gotta fight to survive here. Uh, come on, get back up. There we go. Be that Do some healing days. on myself. How about that? To Back up a little bit. Oh my gosh, I do not like what's going on here, guys. Let's get myself some barricade there. Let's do some reviving here if I can. Oh my gosh, there is so much. So many over here. We need some help on this side. Where's everybody else? You should be helping me here. Okay, let's get this worker back up. Oh, I thought I finished you reviving you. I did not. Okay, we gotta get the other worker up here. That way we can get this um, barricade built. All right, you guys are up. Oh, oh, it's up, it's up. Keep going, keep going. But again, you got a hole in your barricade here, guys. We're gonna put like a gate or something up. Nope, we'll leave it as is. Awesome. Oh, there we go. What? They just, like, send a golem, like a missile, with a whole bunch of small little golems with it? Uh-oh. Experimental Mark One golem. Let's, uh, get over here and try to help out here. Oh, it's a veteran experimental Mark One golem. A whole bunch of tiny ones. Oh, oh, get out of there. Try to take these small ones out too. Okay, he's doing fighting like a big one. Which is not good for us. Come on, take these little guys out. Oh, guys, we got this, we got this. For more barrier there. Yeah, they're dropping golems behind us, that's for sure. Um, uh, I'm gonna actually turn the music down just a little bit. Just for my own ear's sake. Maybe I can start hearing their, their comments a little bit more. Well, let's do some healing here, guys. Will I be eradicated? I don't think so. I do not think so. Use my ultimate ability here. Get a bunch of damage on this big golem here. Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fight to survive. Not good, not good. Let's pick a weak, pick a weak one. There we go. Back up. Good, good, good. Do some healing here. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these little guys. Come on, come on. You're just gonna keep spotting more of these little ones, aren't you? Hopefully not. Maybe when the little ones start falling, they'll actually be gone. Because that would be oh, get out of the way. That the big one's almost down. Oh, that was a small one. The big one is almost down though, which is good. Focus down you. So, bury up for myself. There we go. Big one's down. 
Does that mean the inquests are running away? They are. Awesome. All right. What's up next, guys? Is everyone all right? Rocks. Marjorie. We got uh, Tammy. Kazmer. Where did... Oh, is that Bram up there? That's Bram. Awesome, guys. What's the plan now? Let me know what's going on. That was exciting. It's been a while since I've seen you in action. You've improved. I've been getting lots of practice. <laughs> Looks like we've almost got those vines out of the way. You coming through with us? Yeah. We want to see what's on the other side. You don't mind, do you? If you come with us? Great gods, no. I don't get to spend enough time with you. Let's see if you still feel that way after a few days of being around us. All right. Delacroix, I have a mission for you. I need you to run back to Fort Salma and give them an update. Oversee getting soldiers posted here to keep these vines back. I don't want our retreat cut off just in case. Yes, Corporal. I'll grab my gear and go. I knew I could rely on you. Double time, Seraph. Yes, Corporal. Oh, I guess she's not coming with us then. It's okay. Some other time. I'm sorry I can't go with you. Promise you'll stop by Fort Salma on your way home and let me know how things went? I will. Send Mom a word that you saw me, will you? So she worries a little less. Okay. I'd better get going. Take care of yourself, okay? Love you, sis. Always. You too. Belinda, it was good seeing you again. Aw, same here. Goodbye. All right, so let's see, speak with the corporal over here. Now they've cleared up some of the vines. Oh, optional, speak with our allies. Always do optional when it comes to speaking with our allies. Um, let's talk with Belinda here. So I know I have to do my duty, but I'd much rather be here with you and the others. Uh, you're a good soldier. Uh, a soldier. I just wish I could see what's on the other side of that wall. I've never been this far west. My family isn't known for adventuring beyond Shaymore. Uh We'll tell you about it over drinks and fine food. You better not forget a single detail uh, and watch out for Marjorie or Margie. Okay, uh, don't tell my other sister sisters, but she's always been my favorite. Uh, one day I hope to meet the rest of your family. Maybe my mother doesn't much like strangers. Uh, she's had a hard life. She doesn't trust easy and nothing personal. It's nothing personal, I assure you. Or perhaps she'll make an exception for me. Uh, she might. Uh, Margie has told us all about how you killed Zaitan and all the other great things you've done, Commander. No need to be formal. Besides, I have been actively co I haven't been actively commanding the pact for some time. I imagine you've been busy since the pact brought down Zaitan. I'm sure uh, they'll call you when they're ready to move on another dragon. I can't imagine them doing it without you. I look forward to that day. Awesome. Let's talk to our other allies here. So just imagine how much nicer it would be if the inquest turned their energies toward improving things. So sad. Um, have you been hitting it off with uh, Belinda? I've tried, but there's something distant about her. It's almost as if, as if she, did, done, she didn't want to know me uh, because you're of noble upbringing. Maybe, I'm not sure. It's as if she doesn't know how to talk to me. Uh, she's not the first commoner to be shy around me. Perhaps she was uncomfortable. Maybe, it's hard to tell. I don't know Belinda that well, and I'm not sure if my noble upbringing bothers her. Give it time. You're right. The more time we spend around each other, the more she'll see that I'm just like everyone else. Well, not exactly, but you get. But I get your point. Uh, sometimes I forget how life was easier for me than it was for a lot of people. The whole business with my brother has really made me think about that. So, uh, I know what you mean. So, Marjorie here. What do you have to say? So, I'm glad you suggested to come out here. Uh, I'm over the moon at the chance to fight beside Belinda. Actually, it was E who suggested it. E hasn't steered us wrong yet. Any idea who it is? Not yet, but I'm collecting clues. I'll figure it out. wonder who it could be. Can I talk with you guys, too? Oh, uh, there's some crazy stuff going on out there. It makes you really feel the distance between us and all. Okay, you talked about that already. All right, let's talk with the corporal here. So the Inquest are brutal enemies. Uh, they have absolutely no conscience whatsoever. 
Uh, we're here to look into thieves working from the black market, but the inquest won't leave us alone. Lone. Hey, they must have a lab near nearby somewhere. Unless this is a forward scouting group. Maybe they're looking for a location to build a new one, eh? Those fools. Or they're fools of so. These vines don't make this area exactly hospitable. Well, where did the vines come from? As far as I know, the land west has been cut off, more or less. For a long time, criminals seen, uh, seem to have a few secret routes to get in and out. But who knows what goes on over there. Uh, you think the vines spreading towards or inward from beyond the ridge? That's as, it's as good a guess as any, don't you think? Uh, what's out there? Uh, the Meguma Waste. Other than that, who knows? The Orion uh, flooding could have changed the entire landscape. I guess we'll find out. I'm ready to explore beyond the ridge. Awesome. So let's see what we get here. Some lab equipment, some uh, Imperial or Imperial fragments, some lumps of raw armorite or amberite. And boxes of inquest research supplies. Let's what accept that. Do now? And let's see what we get in this. Nothing good. So let's just deposit that. Who has the sal oh the sal salvage item? Okay. And what's in here? Oh, there are some items in here. Okay. Um... Oh no! I wanted... Not what I wanted to do. Uh, mine's still better. There we go. So, salvage some of this stuff. Ooh. I like getting free stuff. And positive materials. Use our essences of luck. And, oh, I can't use that. But that actually looks kind of cool. And it's part. Oh, it's not part of a set. Ah, oh, it looks alright. That salvage item. Oop, oop. Major rune of mercy. Now let's just get rid of it. There we go. Pause it. You down here. Awesome. So let's see. What do we got to do next here? So let's exit here. So speak to Spark on dry top. Not sure exactly what that means, but we'll do it. Um. So look into the situation in, in Dry Top. Uh, speak with Spark at Dry Top. Okay, so I guess we gotta head through this area here then. Thank you guys for keeping the vines clear. So let's head to this new area here. Dry Top. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting, kind of really abstracty kind of uh, loading screen there. Not quite what I was expecting, but I kind of like it. Must be dry top here. What's uh, what's going on here, guys? All right, so oh, it's just a whole new area here. What's what's this? Greet each day as an unexpected gift. What's this? What's this? What's that? Tell me what that is. What has what just happened? Something happened. Uh oh. Um, light dash, dash towards, dash forward at the speed of light. Oh, cool. I like that. Um, I'm gonna switch you out for this one. Uh, Dusk tier two merchant. What's this do? I'm starting to see a new trickle of supplies. If you help out around the area, I'm sure more goods will come my way. Uh, what can I do to help? Um, any help you can offer to the people in this area will increase my variety of wares to offer and prices will fall good to know let's see what you have right now oh okay so you get i have to collect these geodes and i get stuff recipes insignias insignias recipes oh and this will be favor of the zephyrites tier four and some geodes okay Oh, tier f tier five, so tier two, tier five tools here. You know what? I could actually use some tools. And let's sell junk. So that and so that. Awesome. Okay, so you must sell that stuff. Okay, cool. That's what you do. We've got an anvil here. Meow. Oh, we got a kitty. Hey, kitty. 
The cat meows hungrily. Um, oh, I want I want something to feed the cat now. I need to find something to feed you. Oh, look at you. You're just cute. Okay, we got the waypoint here. Let's talk with the Seraph soldier. Get the scout here. We're overwhelmed responding to casualties from the Zephyrite crash. Inquest agents are rushing in to take advantage of these poor people, and the frequent sandstorms only add to our woes. I hear the nearby mining town of Prosperity has also seen its share of trouble, but we've been too busy assisting the crash survivors to investigate. Okay. Then where am I supposed to be going? Um... Mine? Okay, I'm in dry top. Doesn't actually give me a point to go to. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. But uh, I guess just explore around for a little bit. Cool, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that for sure. Meow. Oh. I'm gonna grab this thing I must again. Believe that this pain will pass. Let's grab this again. Oh, oh. What does this blue one, or purple one, give me? Lightning pull. Use lightning to tether and pull yourself to the target location. Cool. All right. Um. By offering your help around dry top and raise favor for Zephyrites by assisting their relief effort. Favor the Zephyrites here too. Okay. Um. So that'll leave me extremely high. So let's head down here. You've got a little star above your head. So use an assisted leap to ascend the cliff. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, okay. Now I know what's going on. So let's hop up here then. And jump up here. Oh, this is kind of like um, the things from the um, that event that we had a little while ago. The Four Winds, I think it was called, where they had those little little things. Okay, use. Let's get up here. Make your way towards the crash site. Let's keep heading around here then. All right. Oh, jungle tendril roots here. Let's take these down. Oh, thanks for the help there. Boy, these tendrils are actually pretty tough here. <laughs> They'll have to hit much harder. Um, curious on what this all means. Let's just take out these tendril roots that apparently can move around. I don't like that. Oh, let's get out of there. This one's throwing some stuff, so I want to take you down. Ooh, the item there for me. Grab some loot. Oh, got some spikes here. Oh, there's a... Uh, Holcol Queen here. Oh, you're probably not going to be able to make it to you. You're, like, up and around. That's okay. Get out of here. Time to do some real damage. Do some healing here. Oh my gosh, this, jung this single jun jun jungle tendril is kicking my butt. Oh, get some items here. Glob of Globity Gloop. I like that. That is a fun name. Okay. Let's look at the tendril and its roots. Well, let's head back and actually clear the tendril and its roots then. See if we can help out with that a little bit. What is going on here? Rejoining the fight. I need to. I think I need to start to uh, start min maxing my stats a little bit. I'm getting my butt kicked here, guys. Oh boy, I can't even get in here. Or can I? Can I get past here? I can't. What? What? I can't even go back to help. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. Not at all what I expected. All right, so let's um, keep going over here to help these guys. Keep continuing on to the crash site. I 
I'm definitely gonna have to go through and uh, get my build up a little bit better. wooden chest here. Let's see what's in the wooden chest. Whomp. A vicious fang. Not just a fang, a vicious fang. There we go. You're down now too. And let's talk with you here then. I must believe. So our ship came down just north of here. Uh, we were torn from the sky and strewn all across the valley. Uh, where are the other flying ships beside yours? Uh, or, or, sir, were there any, any other flying ships besides yours? Yes, but I can't say for sure what happened to the others um, that set out with us from the labyrinthine, labyrinthine cliffs. I hope that they avoided whatever it was that happened to our ship. I hope they're all right, too. Let's use this I struggle to, regain. to bounce up here. Or not. There we go. There we go. Now we're up here. Everybody is. Some healing here. <laughs> They'll have to hit much harder. And I'm still going around to reach a crash site here. But I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I think it's a decent place to stop it. So thank you guys so much for watching. So we're getting started into Living World Season 2. So we got to look into the situation at Dry Top here. Looks like I got a a crash ship and everything here. So this is going to be pretty interesting. I'm pretty. I'm already excited to be fighting uh, vine whips that are kicking my butt, so I really got to go through and maybe change my build a bunch uh, to make myself a little bit tougher in combat. But thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>